Hello everyone. Hi guys, uh, we got a little special video for you uh, tonight. Uh, we just got back from a brand new restaurant uh, opening up in our area. In fact, it's right behind our house, uh, less than a kilometer up the mountain. Very rarely do we talk about, uh, you know, going further up the mountain. We always say that we're pretty much uh, the, fur the furthest location uh, up the mountain here in Dowan. But there is a brand new restaurant named the Tomahawk Restaurant. It's not quite open yet. It'll be open soon. Uh, but we feel very lucky because... We're all privileged. Yeah, very privileged because uh, we were asked to come... Uh, to their uh, menu tasting event where uh, we were able to eat uh, lots of different uh, appetizers and all the different uh, entrees they had and we did uh, some video of the place uh, again it's called the Tomahawk restaurant not quite open uh, once it is open I will announce it um, and then uh, I was also told that they will do a Facebook um, as well out in the local uh, expat community group letting everybody know that there's a new restaurant here in Dallin. So uh, enjoy the video because we certainly enjoyed we the dinner. Yes. It was great. Take a look. So there's the entrance where we just came in by the uh, Tomahawk sign and the restaurant is that way. But take a look at the parking. They did a nice job. This wasn't here last time we were here. So they raised it up a little bit, put some gravel in, some nice uh, concrete walling and some nice area for parking. So very nice. And then the restaurant is uh, that way. So like I said, you guys are in for a treat today. So uh, this restaurant is uh, just up from our house, maybe a half a kilometer up the mountain. Um, it's not open yet, um, but we know the owner, Marcus, and uh, he is, uh, you know, he stopped by the house and said, uh, hey, come up, we're gonna do some uh, taste testing of our menu because uh, they're actually not open for business. And uh, you know, he invited just a few people to uh, sample uh, some of his food and give him uh, some feedback. So uh, this is going to be a great destination and uh, hopefully uh, once it's open I'll announce it and then uh, everybody can come up here and uh, see this beautiful restaurant and uh, you know give it some business. So let's take a, a quick walk through. Alright so Wilma took off so uh, again parking's right up here. Very large generator for brownouts very nice. This is the entrance, so coming off the road. Uh, you see the sign out there when uh, Wilma and I drove in with the scooter. Tomahawk is the name of the restaurant. Looks like they uh, growing their own uh, spices and herbs. Very, very nice. So actually this is uh, going to be Airbnb. A couple of rooms. Um, so I don't know if I'll get a chance to get in there or not, but uh, when we were up here last, they were building these. Nice to see recycling. Something you don't see much. Nice terrace. Look at the beautiful blue sky. And I'm going to get up there and you're going to see the view. Unbelievable view here. So there is music here, so I may do a voiceover. Uh, we'll see how it uh, plays out. So I may have to do a voiceover on this, but... 
Here's nice uh, bamboo bar area. Look at that, nice bar area. A couple of steps up. All nice ceramic flooring, some beautiful tables. Something, isn't it? And I'm gonna just take a detour and show you the view before we get to the restaurant. Look at this, beautiful terrace. You have parties out here, happy hour. This is where Wilma and I are gonna hang out. Take a look at the view. Just amazing. All that tropical look, ocean. Now our house is literally, I don't even know if I can see it. I can't see it, but I'm gonna say it's right there. Half a kilometer that way. And look at the landscaping. Look at the main house. There's a guest house and restaurants right here. So let's take a walk over to the restaurant. All right, so as you uh, enter the restaurant, you can see a nice garden here to the right. And then they have a pool table. And look at all the wood back there. That's for the uh, wood-fired grill for the pizza, pizza oven. And now you uh, enter the main dining area of the restaurant. Got a nice bar. You can see the different waitresses there, all dressed in nice dresses and some nice tables, nice bar area. You can see a nice selection of wine there in the distance. So definitely a nice atmosphere. Everything is so spotless clean. Look how clean the bar area is. Everything's brand new. You really wish uh, the owner's luck. Real nice area, beautiful view, and uh, just a real nice spot to come up. Has good parking and can really have a, a real nice meal. Look at that ocean view. Pretty amazing. So here's the uh, restrooms, wash area. And then now this uh, now enters the private residence. So uh, I hope I can do uh, justice. Uh, filming this area unbelievable all bamboo there's a main house and a guest house there's the owner up there this house is made of entirely bamboo you see there is some glass here in the front very well constructed like Bali style so uh, very very impressive and then uh, this is heading over to the uh, guest house area. The sun is kind of playing havoc. And you're probably saying, uh, where's Wilma? So look at this. Remember, Janice? Yes, hi Janice, how are you? Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> Very nice. Just walking around, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. All open air, nice furniture. Always a nice breeze here. Look at all the bamboo work. And there's actually uh, two floors. Okay for me to go upstairs? Yeah, I saw him up there. Let's walk around here a little bit. Look good. TV. Little dining table. And just look at this nice breeze coming in. Kitchen area. There's the stairs going upstairs. So oven. Refrigerator. Really something, huh? Another pizza oven. That's what they specialize. Why not? Specializes in pizzas. So they have one of these for the... Uh, restaurant so you can order pizza but here in the main house you see his wood wood fired so he can cook his own pizzas for himself look at this look how high the ceilings are guys this is just really something uh, you know because i've been in so many houses over the last couple years 
And when we're looking for real estate, building homes, you know, I go in a lot of homes that I don't video, but uh, nothing like this. It's always concrete. But just like how open this is. So this is like a Kubo style seating. You see uh, screens for vents. Bamboo floor. Telescope. Look at that. Unbelievable. Real tall ceilings. I asked if this was treated bamboo. He said yes, it's all been treated. Nice views. And you don't feel the cool air up here that's in my face. But um, it's got to be booked now here at night. Chilly. And it looks like uh, another bedroom. Now, I've been here before, but not for a while. So they do have a mosquito net. So this has to be the master. Let's look at all that bamboo work. Really amazing. Quick look around. So he, you're sleeping here and you wake up in the morning. I don't know if you can see this, but this is all windows. That's all glass. You open up. And there's your view in the morning. Not bad. All right. So I know there's in the center, I remember, there's a bathroom but I don't remember how to get to it. Remember there was master bath, oh, right here. So a circular. So this is all uh, concrete with bamboo. So toilet, sink, nice mirror, nice walk-in shower, all stonework and all open, very nice. So this is the main living quarters. And then now we'll uh, take a walk over to the guest house. All right, so we're off to the guest house. Another quick look of the view. Mark has just a few friends over. Trying to get the hot behind the sun. I know the sun is probably washing out some of the video. This is the guest home, guest house for friends. Just want to show you this terrace, all done in rock. Look at this large rock, and then they just built a seat into it. And all the way behind the main house, all terraced with cement and rock, and then that's all flowers. Look at that. That's something, huh? You see their back of the uh, pizza oven? We'll take a walk into the uh, guest house. Got a pond there. And this is still under construction. He's building another pond below. So the water is going to filter down and then pump back up and circulate. So he's working on that. Look at this guest house. So, uh, looks like a king size bed, mosquito net. Nice Kubo style to eat. Again, all bamboo. Beautiful view. See the waterfall. Uh, koi pond, or it looks like that might be tilapia in there. Not sure. Look at the floors, all bamboo floors. Bunk beds. Ah, TV. Look at that TV upside down. It swivels down. That's pretty neat. Nice dining room table. Kitchen. Nice fridge. Washroom with a nice toilet and sink 
and shower. What a what a guest home. And I asked Mark, I said, uh, you know, what did you build this guest house for? He goes, ah, just friends, if they want to come up because it's a long way uh, from Dumaguete to here. <laughs> it's not that far. It's like 40 minutes. So he built this as for his friends. Look at all that stonework back there. Nice painting. Yeah, this is something. So I'm going to take a walk back out to the restaurant. I'm going to talk about when it's opening and the hours and some more information uh, for you guys. Okay, so I'm back at the restaurant. So uh, they're not open yet, like I said. Uh, but when they do open, uh, it's going to be announced on Facebook. And then uh, I'll also announce it on our channel. So they're going to be open for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They'll be open at 6 a.m., uh, six days a week, and uh, they'll close at 9 p.m., so 6 a.m. through 9 p.m., so uh, good choices for uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and uh, looking forward to this uh, getting open. It's so close to our house, and uh, we feel very, very privileged uh, because uh, there's only been five couples that was invited to this uh, menu tasting, and uh, Wilma and I were you know, one of the five couples. So look at the beautiful uh, table settings they set up for uh, for the folks. Everyone's starting to, to mill in now. Look, they have umbrellas in case it's raining so you can walk back to your car. Nice uh, wine selection. So they really did a real nice job of uh, setting this up for uh, you know just people they know to come, friends, and get a chance to, to taste the food. And we're very much uh, looking forward to it. Right, so uh, we were talking about solar and Mark said, hey, uh, go take a look on the roof of the restaurant. So throughout the home and the restaurant, he has 120 solar panels. Not all of them are here, but throughout the property. And then they all come back to this control room. And these are iron phosphate batteries. Look how big they are and look how many he has. And his inverters, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inverters. And look at all these batteries. So he has enough solar to run everything, to run the restaurant, uh, to run both houses, all the pumps he has for the different uh, fish ponds. He says he has enough solar here to do it all. More garden. And over here, I don't think I showed it. Got a bunch of rabbits. No, I have to disclose, I think rabbit is on the menu. <laughs> but he's raising rabbits. But that's some solar system. So I just wanted uh, to point that out. All right, so Wilma and I are getting ready. Uh, we're just been seated, but I want to show you this uh, blender bike. If you order a drink that needs to be blended, say it's the shake bike, they bring the ingredients, dump it in the blender. You hop on the bike, uh, pedal away, and it will uh, mix your drink for you. So pretty cool, huh? So remember I told you there was two rooms that's available. Uh, they're going to be on Airbnb right now. He's just using it for friends. But take a look at this. There's two rooms. They each have their own swimming pool with a water feature with a privacy wall. And then steps going down to a little grassy area. Nice patio. And they have their own kitchen, dining room, and bedroom. Uh, so if you wanted to uh, eventually Airbnb or I just say if someone wanted to long-term rent uh, that's also available so I'll just take a quick walk here I almost forgot about the rooms I didn't ask 
uh, to go down and look inside the rooms because they're already starting to serve us. But I did want to just get back to you guys from above on a swimming pool. Looks like a fire pit. Uh, looks like a nice uh, dining area with a big rock with a glass top. Unbelievable, huh? So we were asked to challenge the chef by ordering different uh, courses. So first course is flying fish with beets. Bon appetit. All right, second course, tender tail shrimp with vegetable. And Wilma got, and Wilma went for a walk. <laughs> she went to go see the pool. Creamy scallops on a beautiful seashell. All right, so main course. So we have imported beef for two with mashed potatoes for the boss and tomato risotto for myself. So let's dig in. All right, we have had a great dinner. So our dessert is a chocolate with vanilla and wet nuts and fruit. And Wilma has a pineapple tart with ice cream. And that, what is this here? Is this a pineapple or let me taste that. That's coconut. Coconut. Toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. So pineapple tart with ice cream with caramel and toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. 